network equipment providers are adopting cloud native technologies like Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift, it's a natural extension to have operators now adopt these same kinds of platforms to run these network functions on. My name is Bill Lambertson and I'm the vice president for our, our 5G edge and cloud business for the telecommunications and media industry. And uh, most recently I was involved as one of the executive sponsors for the IBM Cloud for Telco industry launch, which we did um, in fourth quarter of, of 2020. And really the rationale for IBM on why we did this is first of all, you know, we have a very strong representation in the telecommunications industry for a long time. We work with 80% of the top telcos globally around the world across many different parts of their business. One of the newest areas of, of opportunity and collaboration is around the network and the edge space. And essentially, when we look at the challenges that telecommunications operators are facing today, they primarily fall within three major areas. And these are the areas that we're focused on for our, our um, capabilities. The first is really being able to justify the investments that they're making in the modernization of their network, uh, whether that be for moving to a virtual or cloud native network functions for 4G, or in fact, building out um, you know, the 5G environments and starting to do the open RAN or virtual RAN space. So it's a significant investment um, and operators need to be able to realize the benefits from some of those investments through monetization. Um, one of the challenges with this move to really cloud-based environments is operators need to also support really an SRE style um, cloud operating model uh, for the support of their networks. And some operators have actually experienced some challenges where they've moved to a, a virtual network function environment and they haven't seen the benefits from the investments that they're making. They're still using many of the old methods of procedures that they've carried forward for the last decade to, to run these new, new environments. So we often work with operators to help them adopt more of a cloud operating model at scale to be able to manage their network environments in the same way that large enterprise customers manage their IT environments using CI, CD and pipelines and things like that. So that's one of the first major backdrops. Um, I also think that, that as operators are making these investments, they need to be able to focus on the enterprise space um, more closely and to be able to move up the stack in the kinds of solutions that they offer enterprise customers. Uh, make no mistake, you know, the 5G component and the edge platform itself are, are a core aspect of those, in, of those solutions. But really, the business value comes out in the applications and the use cases that, that enterprise clients are consuming on those edge platforms or using 5G. And so working with companies like IBM, um, both from a systems integration as well as a legacy enterprise operate, or enterprise IT company to help build those kinds of applications and those rich use cases on top of their platform are some of the key areas that we were seeing and focusing on as we, as we made this launch. The benefits start to be realized when you have a horizontal uh, VIM or horizontal um, infrastructure, whether that's a virtual infrastructure or cloud native. Many operators think that the real benefits are gonna come just by moving to cloud native, and that's not necessarily true, but it is about supporting, having the tooling and the methodology to be able to support a cloud operating environment. So when I say that they haven't realized the benefits, um, you know, you can easily stand up a virtual network function on a, a closed system, on a stack running either open, open stack or some kind of hypervisor underneath. But being able to bring new functionality and new features to the market, many operators rely very heavily on network equipment providers for the innovation. So being able to take on some of the innovation themselves to be able to see the opportunity to do things better, more efficiently, is a key aspect of this cloud operating model that I talk about. And IBM has a solution called Telco Network Cloud Manager where we're able to provide a vendor agnostic orchestration engine to be able to onboard a variety of 
VNF providers or CNF providers from a multitude of network equipment providers and to be able to deploy them in concert with each other to create an end-to-end -end service and to be able to manage that from end-to-end -end using a CICD pipeline approach. So when we start to kind of work with operators to share this model with them and these capabilities, they start to realize that operating their network environment differently than they have in the past and not just moving to a cloud-based platform is a really key aspect. And that's where some of the at-scale value starts to come out and starts to be realized for the operators. So really there's three main areas of, of engagement that IBM that's aligned directly with these challenges and imperatives. The first one is focused on enabling um, data and AI and automation everywhere for digital customer engagement, um, being able to create more customized and personalized experiences with their uh, consumers and their enterprise customers using data and AI and machine learning models. Uh, and the second area is around applying this data and AI to the business of running and operating the network. We often refer to it as AI ops or AI operations. So this is the first area and we have actually support um, you know, a, a number of, I think it's over 40 global operators where we provide the capability of, of chatbots and virtual agents to help them support their contact centers and their customer environments. And this was very effective, uh, especially during the times of COVID where operators needed to shift to more of an automated response for their customers. And we were able to help them scale very quickly. And in fact, some of the traffic volumes um, increased in over a one month period that was equivalent to the traffic volume increase throughout an entire year. So there were some huge um, increases in the, in the number of interactions with the clients and having the ability to have artificial intelligence at the front end of this really helped operators be successful in that space. And we support nearly 1.5 billion consumers using Watson AI technologies and handle over a billion AI calls to our Watson platform in that space every year. The second area is focused on the environment of, of modernizing networks. So if you take an example of the work that we announced with, with V, or which was Vodafone Idea in India, where we're helping them build out what they call a universal edge cloud and being able to virtualize and also move to cloud native an entire horizontal stack across 200 circles in India and run their core network, their wireless network on a cloud, micro cloud based platform. Not only are they running networks on it, but they're also running IT and some OSS, BSS workloads. And they aspire to be able to deliver a set of enterprise use cases and edge use cases on this same platform. So that's why they refer to it as universal edge. And the, and the special thing about it is, is that across these 200 circles in India, they, they have the ability to deliver very low latency uh, to their end users from these 200 circles. So it's a fantastic opportunity that V is bringing to the market for India and IBM's proud to be part of that. The third area really is around the, the space of, of Enterprise Edge. And we made a number of announcements in 2020 with operators like Verizon and AT&T uh, Vodafone uh, in the UK and Milan is an example, where we're able to deliver a set of, of edge-enabled applications targeted at industry-specific use cases like manufacturing, retail, financial services, um, industrial operations, and deliver them on their mech, either in the network or a mech platform on-premise in the customer's location, in, in a combination or concert with 5G and 4G LTE. So these are some examples of the kinds of programs. One of them that I'm really excited about, and we'll hear a little bit more um, when we announce the general availability of IBM Cloud Satellite coming up in March, is we're working with one global operator who's a wireline provider, and they have 100, nearly 140 edge centers around the world and we, in partnership with this operator, are delivering a set of IBM edge-enabled applications and our distributed cloud solution based on um, Red Hat OpenShift uh, across these different edge facilities that this particular operator has.